So shortly after I released the first version of my sawn off light switch, I had a comment on my Thingiverse page about how we could just potentially use the existing sawn off button instead of the extra circuit board with the two buttons on it and pull up resistors and you could save a lot of soldering that way and a lot of install time. And I thought that was a great idea so this is what I came up with to do that. Uh, the only things that really changed are the mount plate. It has these two little supporting tabs and then I created this guy which I'm calling the paddle. He just mount slides into those and is supported that way and then the button or the actuator you can go either way and it'll actuate the button and then so we'll put this together and then And to do this, you want to keep this side flat and then peek through the little hole and make sure that the button is actually going in to the paddle, which you can see there. Snap that in. And then the other thing that I changed is the, I noticed on the Tasmoto firmware that you can get off of GitHub. It's great firmware, I wanted to use that but it was unreliable on my button so whenever I'd actuate the button sometimes it would trick the relay sometimes it wouldn't and that just wouldn't work so I mean it's gotta always trip the relay whenever you activate that button otherwise the wife won't like that and I have to rip it out of the wall and go back to an old switch so I wrote my own custom firmware to do that and I'd like to show you some of the features of that so I'll go ahead and plug him in as you can see it blinks slowly until it gets connected now it's connected and as you can see even if it's connected or not it will always react to the switch whether you go up or down it doesn't matter it always actuates the button it doesn't take a lot of force, it's just kind of like a mouse click to actuate the button. But then another feature that I added to it after using this in the wall for a while is sometimes it gets hung up and won't react to the MQTT messages. So I added another feature where if you push and hold it for 10 seconds it will restart. So it blinks a lot, blinks 10 times really quick, and then it'll restart. See, now it reset, now it's reconnecting the Wi-Fi, it's connected, and now it works just the same. So the only time this won't actuate the relay is during that restart routine. But you're waiting for it to restart because it had an issue with it anyways. So yeah, that... That code should be in the description, available on my GitHub page for you to use. I, I think it works great. Uh, it's pretty simple, and it talks MQTT to your home automation, but it will always actuate the relay, and you can reset it in case something goes wrong. Please be sure to like and subscribe to my channel. I plan on coming out with more projects like this, and uh, thanks for watching.